Chuck, are you there? We have all sorts of company online today, by the way. <laughs> well, great. Well, great. Well, yes, we have several panelists here. This is, um, uh, I'm excited to share this with everybody, our new AceWeb RWD module for AceWeb. Um, and again, we'll take a few minutes and kind of review this for folks and um, I'll tell you what this is all about. So again, many of you may be familiar with this, but we're going to kind of give you an overview at the be in the beginning here. Number one, RWD, what does that stand for? I guess let me, uh, let me ask, actually we talked about a poll question. Let me ask a show of hands, Lori. How many of you, put the hands down, how many of you have ever heard of RWD before you had the webinar announcement? Anybody been listening in? I see a few been paying it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Well, Steve, Steve, uh, our old guru there, the, the white-bearded guru there. So responsive web design, what does that mean really? It means mobile friendly, a website that is mobile friendly. And again, so we're going to talk about that today. What is RWD? Why it's important? Uh, we're going to show you uh, the new tool that Cheryl has built, the new module. Talk about what you go from here. Uh, this is a module, uh, so there is a fee to upgrade to it. And then questions. So that is what we're about. Um, what is the biggest change since the Internet began? It is the use of mobile devices. And again, um, Steve Learman, who's been setting in, and I have been here since the dawn of time, the dinosaur age of, of computers. And um, the, again, the use of your mobile phone, the phone, an iPad, a tablet, to get to the internet has really been just flipping amazing. So what is a mobile device? Uh, a mobile device is, and I'm kind of get back to that, any kind of device that basically you can access the internet from wherever you're at. And again, so that would be iPad, smartphone, an Android tablet. Um, those would be considered a mobile device. You are not tethered to a, um, an internet connection, a computer, a power cable, and generally you've got either some kind of wireless service where you don't even necessarily have to depend on a Wi-Fi spot or a hotspot to be able to get to the internet or communication. All right, so uh, what happened? Did I skip this? Yeah, why is a web page different on a mobile device? And again, uh, pages that are designed, and again, the issue is it's the design of the pages in the system that they will flow to fit the size of the screen. And again, you said, well, I can look at the size of the screen with my smartphone no matter what. Yes, you can by scratching and poking and squeezing and pinching. But again, um, the whole idea of a responsive design is that the page automatically knows, and I guess we hadn't said this in the PowerPoint, but a responsive design page automatically can read what device is calling it and it will adapt it will respond to the device that you've got all right so that is responsive design got questions or Steve if I'm off the mark or Cheryl give me a shout what does that mean that equals if well let's go back to that if you are not an RW page okay this is the, the downside if you are not an RWD page and the user pinches and squeezes and scrolls, which equals an unhappy customer. And again, the studies have shown that if a person goes to a site that is mobile friendly, they are more likely to come back. And that's again, if, they're, if, if you respond to their needs, you're likely to keep them coming back to you. All right. So what is different about a responsive design or working with the web on a smartphone? And of course, most of you have done this. Maybe you don't even realize that. But touching versus clicking. There's a difference in terms of the way menus work. And again, you don't have clicking. Things like right mouse clicking, things like hovering don't work the same on a smartphone. Graphics display differently. <clears throat> and again, you generally, when you've got a page that you're trying to be mobile friendly, you kind of cut back on the graphics. I think, Cheryl, what, JavaScript, or what is it, Flash, 
Um, I think Cheryl said Flash is horrible uh, for uh, graphics. Cheryl, shout me out if that's yeah. right or not. Flash is one of those things you try to avoid on mobiles and stuff. And then and then in their like iPad and iPhone, it won't even work. Okay, so, so that again, that's uh, what yeah, Flash is Windows. So again, Cheryl, so feel free to to pipe in here. So um, the other one is forms are problematic. And again, issues with how to align a form. That is a filling out a name and address. You know, if you were a new client filling out your create new account, uh, that you have, that you have to. Have, there's there's special design elements that have to be in place to make that work right or look right. Uh, it takes longer. And Cheryl, this you're saying if you're on a mobile device and you're trying to load a page that is a quote static one, it takes longer. Well, the more graphics you have on oh, the page, the longer okay. it's going to take to load on a on a mobile device. They just take longer than they do on a. Okay, device. and so again, that's part of the the the, the design issues in dealing with uh, responsive web design uh, format. And again, it's almost like a uh, yeah, it's basically a method of designing pages uh, to be able to accommodate again different types of computer. Tools, much as a smartphone is basically a computer to access a web page, um, and again, lost screen pace, and again, that you're dealing with a small stamp, postage stamp size, and you're trying to see a great big web page if it has not been adapted for a small device. All right, why should you care about this? Why is this important to you? Well, you should be kind of picking this up. You should be kind of picking this up as you go along. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Number one, Google likes it. And again, it's kind of like the gorilla in the room. Whatever Google likes, we kind of like. Again, dominant share of the search market. Uh, Google wants users to be happy, so they want to make sure that they give people what they want. Uh, the best results is a responsive web design page. And again, I want to kind of clarify. What we're talking about here is this idea, Google giving responsive web designs priority in a web search, note, if the user is using a mobile device. If you're searching on your desktop, I think Google, and again, Cheryl, anybody out there that if they've got any other information, let me know, but I think if you're using a big desktop searching Google will give you stuff across the board. When you get on your iPad or tablet or your smartphone and you start to do searching, and again, I think Greg was setting in on this and it'll you know, holler out if, if I'm off mark here, but it's when you are using your mobile device that Google will rank a re responsive design site higher in the rankings. Because again, why? They want their users to be happy and come back again. So they're going to show them on their smartphone sites that they can use with their smartphone, which is not a bad piece of advice for us as, as trying to serve our customers. And now again, he's responding this, in the affirmative there, Chuck. He's saying, good. yes, that is true. Thumbs up on that. All right. Well, thanks, sir. Um, when asked, again, this is interesting. I did not realize this, Lori. Lori found that out in the research. Business decision makers use their smartphone or tablet more than their PC, uh, and they do so in the evening. So again, down here at the bottom, 86% of people use tablets, 72% use a smartphone. And again, I saw some other sites that indicated again, and we talked earlier, if you find a site with a smartphone, that is mobile ready and you can get the information you need, you're likely to go back again. So again, it all ties to eyeballs, it ties to traffic, it ties to getting your prospects, your students to come back and do business with you. You're working at a long-term kind of goal here. All right, so again, back to if you haven't picked this up, we're going to try it one more time. Users who searching the web on the phone or a um, tablet, if they land on a website that is not built with RWD, Google's ranking of that site, 
listen for it. What do you think? What do you think? Mwah, mwah. I needed some extra sound there. Mwah, mwah, mwah. That's the Charlie Brown thing here. You get penalized if you don't have responsive design. All right, so what is this about? AceWeb, mobile friendly, and the sandbox. So again, the, we're going to get to it in a minute, but I'm going to give you a kind of three quick slides. This is the new redesign of AceWeb with the mobile-friendly side in the full screen view. This would be what you typically see with your desktop screen. If you go with a tablet, then it's a little smaller, and what happens, it actually shrinks and kind of adapts. And the whole point is, from left to right, you are seeing everything there is to see. Now, it will, it will push down on the bottom. You might have to scroll down to the bottom to see more, but you're seeing it. One more time, we're going to go to smartphone view. This is where it really makes a difference because when you get down to, and Cheryl told me what the pixels were, but when you're pretty much knowing the, the web site, it, it actually is smart. It knows what's calling it. If it knows that the width of the screen is X amount, it will actually flip to a almost vertical view. Now, the student still sees, the, the, the searcher still sees all of the topics down there, but the, the menus change. And again, you still have icons to hit but the menu arrangement is different in this particular mode. So let's take a look. I'm going to pause. Lori, any questions or people just kind of saying, oh, crap, we're not ready, or oh, darn, yes, we ought to do this, or any, any buzz right now? Everybody's nodding their head and saying, yes. Nodding, everybody's nodding that. their heads. All right, we're hoping for thumbs up on that. All right, let's jump to, let's jump to a website here. And again, this is... This is AceWeb, the new AceWeb. Now, I'm going to show you by just squeezing the screen how this adapts. Notice the right margin. Let me move over a little bit. The right margin, you still see, you look at the columns, they kind of adapt, they're shrinking. I can still see everything left to right. Nothing is off the screen. I don't have to wiggle around. Things might get pushed down. Keep on going over. More, 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 more. Bam. At this point, whatever that pixels are, it says, I are now on some small device. I got to change rules. So at this point now, the options go down below. Your menu becomes up here. That would have been the header bar that was setting on the normal screen. The other clicks are still available. And again, I invite you to go to I invite you to go to the website, go to the AceWeb demo. Let me get back to that again. Where was I at? And get back to my sis. Give me back to my browser. Browser, browser, come back. Okay, here we go. Back to the browser. All right. Go to go to Aceware Systems and either go to the AceWeb demo or AceWeb and AceWeb demo. But that will take you to uh, Cheryl's new design, and you can play with that. And again, if you want to try it on your smartphone, which you, you need to do to really see what this does, you're going to go to tryaceweb.com, and I believe it will automatically then pop into, uh, pop into the design element that, that fits you. So. Um, let me just see if we were to say create a new account, and this is an example of a form. Okay, here is a form in the full screen view. Now, as we shrink it, again, now most of ours, now here you see it begins to scroll down the screen so that, again, the student can follow through, uh, you know, pretty much trace what's going on and still be able to use that small screen. Uh, to do what you want them to do, which is buy the class. That's what we're about here. All right, I'm going to move on through and then get into questions. I told you guys this was going to be pretty short and sweet. What's the deal? 
ACEWEB RWD is a new module for ACEWEB, and it basically replaces your existing ACEWEB pages so that you rather some of you uh, had used the old, a um, uh, couple of you, we had the mobile interface that was an alternate interface, and you had to actually click on a different website in order to get to it. The beauty of the RWD is that it is one website. Don't have to point people other directions, and um, it replaces your other ACE web pages. It will be available September 1st. Uh, we got it, of course, on the demo now, working it up. There is an upgrade charge that varies from 850 if you've already done uh, an upgrade and, and a makeover and you're doing a redo to do um, uh, responsive, or 1250, which would give you the upgrade and a makeover. Um, we talked about makeover, and if you got questions about that, we'll, 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 we'll show you a link on that. Placing an order, give Sharon a call uh, or shoot her an email. Uh, she will schedule that. Lindsay and uh, Cheryl are our go-to people to do that. Um, again, either I, we said Sharon or, or contact your tech. Your tech can get with Sharon. Make sure we get you uh, lined up on this. So are you ready, though? Are you ready for can you? This is kind of like the officer and a gentleman. Can you handle this? Are you ready? Ask Google. Now, one of the questions about your main site, and, and again, this is where we get into, is your ACE web responsive? Is your main website responsive? And again, you've got kind of a double thing going on here. The main, the Google website gives you a mobile-friendly tool that you can check to see if a website itself is mobile-friendly. So what are your options? Number one. Your main site, when I say main site, I mean your, your campus site or your continuing ed site. If you've got a, a web page that is for your continuing ed, workforce, and community ed courses, if that main site is responsive, then you can order an ACEWEB responsive design upgrade and get the makeover. Okay, well, what if your main site is not responsive design? you can still get an ACEWEB responsive design, a responsive design pages, but the makeover, which is the idea that we would take, uh, we would, Cheryl or Lindsay would take your main uh, ACEWEB, your main, slow down, Chuck. Lindsay or Cheryl would take your main design, the CSS and the graphics behind your main website, and apply them to ACEWEB. That's what the makeover, that's what the makeover is, is that it would apply the design of your site, your, your main home site, campus, your CE unit, and apply that design to the ACE web pages. So all of the navigation and the colors and the images and all will, will flow pretty seamlessly between the two. And of course, your other option is to stand pat. He said, well, I don't care, my people uh, they barely got computers, much less smartphones. So you can continue to use the classic ACE web pages, obviously. Okay, now, if you need help, now again, uh, I need to give a shout out here. Daryl Clark is a colleague of mine I've worked with for years. He's done some work for us. He's done a, a SEO search webinar uh, several years ago, and we're inviting him back to do uh, one in the future. But he had actually, by the way, lives in the Philippines, but he's able to serve U.S. Uh, internationally, obviously, through the web. But if you need help modifying your main website to responsive design, he is able to help with that. So that's his contact info. Um, if you actually need complete web design, and again, I don't know Randy, Randy is recommended by Daryl, and, and again, so this is a recommendation through somebody that I trust. Uh, but if you're really looking for creative help and your campus doesn't have it or you're responsible for doing your own creative web stuff as a division or a unit or a continuing ed group, um, Randy is the one who comes highly recommended from Daryl. All right. Uh, what's next? We're getting into the question mode, the next webinar, and we're going to follow up 
responsive web design with a redo of the search engine optimization. Again, how do you get rankings besides getting a responsive web design to make sure that when people are searching for a certain class, your website gets brought up? That'll be scheduled kind of tentative a little bit here, but two weeks from Thursday, 10 a.m. Central. Notice the new time. It is a morning one. All right, questions, answers. Lori, how are we doing out there with um, questions? I, again, invite people to go to tryaceweb.com. Go to the website with your smartphone and tablet and go in and, and, and work on it, and you'll see the difference um, in, in being able to do that. And I'm going to, Lori, what do you got? Anything out there? Well, I think Connie uh, actually put it best, and I'm going to just read her question because it's similar to a couple of others. Did Chuck say it works with our ACE web pages by replacing them? It is a replacement for your ACE web pages. So again, uh, that's part, that's why there's a, some cost involved with it, a little bit more normal. We basically would replace all of your ACE web pages. Now, that means if you had a, and this is a dilemma, and, I, and I'm sorry about doing this. It's kind of like you put a new set of paint on your house and you decide you're going to put on new siding. Um, but that, yes, if you've had a design element applied to your ACE web pages and you want to go with responsive design pages, you're going to have to redo the responsive design or the, the design. So yes, it will take your old pages, replace them with a page that is designed to handle responsive design. Cheryl, am I as good as it gets on that? It will be replaced. Well, and all of your templates are going to be replaced. Um, if you've customized a template, we're going to put that customization back on the new one. And again, that's kind of part yeah. of this. I mean, we're, we're kind of including some of that in the system. If you've got some really, really obtuse customization in there, we will need to work with you about doing that. Now, I suppose if you've got a special page that is really cost too much for us to do the customizing, you can still have a non-responsive page being called by a responsive design, wouldn't you, Cheryl? Which means it works for desktops, it just look, looks funky on a smartphone? Well, if they don't have a responsive design, it's just not going to change. Like when you're on, you're on your profile page where now it's two columns, but on a smaller screen it changes to one. Right, yeah, it, it'll label. just, it's so, so the pages will work. The pages will work, it's just that smartphone users we'll have to do some scrolling around perhaps on a particular page that is really super custom. So, and that's again, you know, you can talk to your tech talk, you know, and uh, be able to kind of review. I think your technician should be able to tell you if you're going to have any pages that'll have any problems. So, um, or Cheryl or Lindsay, whoever would have done maybe your work if you have done some custom work. So. I, so again, let me know if that gets close to, but the answer is yes, you will, uh, templates. The templates are what have been reworked to be able to accommodate this responsive design. And so yes, you will be replacing those, those templates. Other questions, Lori? Brittany wants to know if she has multiple interfaces, would we have to purchase multiple ACE Web RWDs? Uh, yeah, and I don't, honestly, that's one that I have I've not talked about. And Cheryl, we need to talk to you and Lindsay about if you've modified one set of pages, whether or not we can do a second set um, with at least maybe some discounting on that. But I think they will have to be replaced, the pages, because an AceWeb alternate interface, a good question, by the way, and I may, I may have to get back to you on that is a completely different ACE web set of templates, so you would have to replace it if you want that alternate interface to be responsive. So you'd have to replace it. I think there would be some charge on it. I'd have to check with, we have to think about, or get with Cheryl and Lindsay to see 
if the amount of time to do the alternate interface once you've done the main one would be less. And Cheryl, we can talk about that and then get back to people who have alternate interfaces. And now, Brittany, you've got a bundle, so that would be goodness. Yeah, we try to, there surely ought to be some way to, we, we can get, you, get a break on, on, on folks with the, the, the real multiple interfaces, so. Next. Well, everybody else is just saying nice and sweet and thank you and this is awesome. <laughs> well, one of the things I, I wanted to, you know, like I said, you're seeing here the idea of what happens when you've got, uh, you know, responsive design. I'm going to show you a site that is not responsive. And um, again, so this is a website that's not responsive. Now, notice what happens when I move the margin over. Notice the right side, things are cutting off. So again, if I was wanting to view that, I'd have to scroll around back and forth in order to get to what I'm trying to do. And again, that is continuous quality improvement. Okay, I've done it. So what's going on? I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. I have to scroll and pinch and squeeze to get to that. So again, that is, the, again, the downside about uh, getting the... Um, having the non-responsive design. All right, again, remember we're going to go from responsive design, which helps with SEO, to SEO itself in general, all kind of parts and pieces of that in a couple of weeks. Lori, any other questions that people want to get? And again, if you've got questions you want to follow up on, you guys know Sharon's number and phone and my phone and number and Lori's, shoot us a note and we'll be happy to help you begin to start working on this. So, and again, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll get with Cheryl and Lindsay about the idea of how we can work with folks with multiple interfaces to try to help them out in the, in the upgrade uh, fees uh, kind of thing. So, Lori, any last thoughts, comments? Cheryl, and, and is Lindsay setting in any comments from, was Lindsay in on this, Lori? No, I don't believe so. Don't, I don't didn't get her in. Uh, but Cheryl, anything else that you'd want to leave folks with on this? And again, I I, I don't have anything you haven't already covered. So. Very good. All right. Well, again, guys, let's give Cheryl, raise your hand, raise your hand for Cheryl with what she's done on this particular, uh, this particular piece with the responsive design. I think it is flipping awesome. And Cheryl, thank you so much for all the work that you put into this and again this is uh, I think is going to really help your students and hopefully help you get a leg up in your community with uh, getting rankings for people taking your classes so big big thanks big claps for Lori in the process so well very good uh, sh Lori uh, thank you for all your help again in putting together the slides and um, everybody have a great uh, rest of August and uh, getting ready for the hub of the school, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye, everybody. Care.